Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you 22 popular books I want to read this year in 2022 and the thing about these books is that I've actually been meaning to read these for a while. They were on my list for last year, some of these were even on my list for the year before that and I've just never gotten to these and these are really popular. I hear a lot of people talk about them and most people love them it seems so basically that's me wanting to push myself and really trying to read them this year and I have two big stacks of books on the floor in front of me so I guess I'll just get into it right now. The first book on that list is the Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I actually started reading that last year, got until page 99 I believe, and then I stopped because a huge Roman's mood hit me and I never continued, even though I really loved it. And I also loved the other two books in the series. I think I have five sets of these books. The normal hardcover editions, the paperbacks, Fairy Loot, Illumicrate and Bookish Box. Yeah, I have five sets of these books, so I definitely love this series a lot. And I don't know why I never continued, but this year it's going to happen. <laughs> then the next book on that list is Spin the Dawn. I've actually already owned the sequel and the spin-off? Six Crimson Cranes. I'm not sure how these series are related. However, I own all three books. Um, how could I pass up these beautiful editions? I couldn't, but I definitely want to see what the hype is about this year and so they are also on the list. Then I have a very popular book. One that was hyped a lot because the author is Sarah J. Maas. A Court of Silver Flames. I haven't read it yet. I've been meaning to read it when it came out originally. And then it didn't happen because of spoilers. And basically I was so fed up with all these spoilers that I put it down. But I'm going to do it and I'm actually, I have a friend that I'm going to buddy read this book with so she will hold me accountable. <laughs> I will definitely do it this year and I think our plan was to read it in March, if I'm not mistaken. Then the next book is A Touch of Darkness. I am not even sure how many books in that series are out at this point. I feel like it might be three or four. Um, however, lots of people love this. It's a Hades and Persephone retelling, if you didn't know, and I love this myth, this story of these two. So that's another book I actually started already last year and I really love it. I don't know why, I, I don't, I really don't know why I paused it. But it's going to happen this year. I'm, I'm, I'm very positive about this. This might be a book that is not super popular, at least not in the mainstream book community. This is a Dark Mafia Romance by Willow Winters. And this is actually the bind up of four books. It's an entire series. And I've been meaning to read more by Willow Winters for a little while now. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. Then I have a very special book. Blood and Honey, which, if I'm not mistaken, I started this in 2020. I am a little more than halfway through, and I don't know what happened with me and this book. I guess it's not as good at, as the first book, but I still liked it. And I had some people who were quite disappointed in this book, which is probably why I paused it, because I was scared of not liking it. But since I do already have the third book in the trilogy, Gods and Monsters, on my shelf now, I definitely want to continue and finish the series this year. 
Next is a book that I am very mad at myself for not reading. The lighting is terrible. There you go. With all the foil in the title. Um, I'm very mad at myself for not reading this sooner because Jude and Cardin are like my babies. I adore that trilogy and I've been I've been looking forward to this release so so much and I mean it's a novella it's not short it's super it's a super quick read so I don't know why I haven't read it yet I definitely need to do it this year because yeah Jude and Cardin are my everything basically they are living rent-free in my head all the time next is Caraval by Stephanie Garber the first in the spin-off series Once Upon a Broken Heart was released late in 2021 and I still haven't read this book this series why well I actually have a good reason for this because this is the UK hardcover version which I love and book two and three for the UK editions aren't available anymore so basically I had this one sitting on my shelf since forever and I didn't want to purchase the first book again in the U US edition which is why I just didn't read it because I couldn't get the UK editions. Does that even make sense? In my head it does, but it probably doesn't. But yeah, that's the reason I haven't read the Caraval trilogy yet. But I definitely do want to read it this year because I want to read Once Upon a Broken Heart and I have heard, or people told me that it's better to read these books before. And so I want to read them in order, basically. Next is The Winner's Curse. Is that the first book in the trilogy? Yes, I think it is. I was confused for a second. Um, I feel like this trilogy is already a little older. I'm not even sure when it is from when it was released. 2014. Well, that's been a while and I haven't read this trilogy yet. But however, I do have the entire trilogy on my shelf and actually Fairy Loot is doing special editions for these books which are beautiful and they have art from one of my favorite artists and I want these editions but I feel like I need to read at least the first book first to know I won't regret that purchase <laughs> so that's why this book is on my list for 2022 <laughs> the next book on that list is The Burning God which is the final book in the trilogy. I feel like there are a lot of first books in series on my on my list for this year but this is actually the finale which I haven't read yet and I really really like the first two books so I'm very much looking forward to that one as well and if you don't know the first book in that trilogy is called The Poppy War. Next I have a brick of a book like this is so thick you could probably unalive a person with that. Um, Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Um, I mean, do I really need to get into details about this book? I feel like Jay Kristoff is super popular and this book has been hyped so much and I definitely want to know what all the hype is about. So that's also on my list. Plus, I really love this edition so much. Look at all the gold. Next is another series that's already a little older. This one, I just looked it up, is from 2015. Um, it's another example of those cases where I have the entire series on my shelf. There, actually. Oh my god, this is difficult. <laughs> I have the entire series on my shelf. I actually read the first book years ago when it first came out in German and I read the German edition I loved it I loved it so much but then I had to wait a long while for the translation of the second book and now years later I prefer reading in English rather than in German so I got the entire English series and I plan on rereading book one in English and then continuing with the entire series basically 
The next book is Guild by Raven Kennedy. I think this is a self-published book. Um, however, everyone is raving about this series recently and I'm not even sure what it is about, to be honest. But usually when I pick up new books or put new books on my wish list, I'm just going with like a few impressions or tropes or whatever or hype that I've heard a lot like friends recommending me something and this is one of the cases where a friend recommended it to me and I was just like I trust your opinion girl so I'm gonna pick this up. Same actually goes for the next two books. This is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I haven't read a single book by Penelope Douglas yet however there are many books by that author that I'm interested in. This is pure smut I think <laughs> but I've been recommended this one as well by some friends and I want to see what it's about. Actually funny story about this one though because this is a misprint like in the middle of the book there are some German pages like from German law like I think this is employment law or whatever and it's in the middle of the book there are like 20 pages law so that definitely does not belong to this smut book but it's funny <laughs> i hope nothing else is missing from the actual story but i guess i'll see when i get to reading <laughs> the next book i bought purely on recommendation of one of my friends is pestilence by laura talassas Ta talassa talassa this is the first book in the Four Horsemen series and it's basically like a story about the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and I don't really need to know much more about this. This is adult fantasy, adult fantasy slash smut again, <laughs> but this is also, there's also been a lot of hype about this book so I'm curious. The stack is getting smaller. The next book is A Discovery of Witches, which isn't there even a movie or a TV show about about this book? I'm 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 not sure. I'm a little confused right now because I feel like there is, but I'm not certain. But yeah, a discovery of it with a discovery of but yeah, A Discovery of Witches. This is the first book in the trilogy. Um, it's adult fantasy and there's witches, there's vampires. This is a very floppy edition, which I love. And this is everything I need to know to try it out. And the next book on my stack is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I do own the entire series. This is also an older series. I'm not sure when it was first released, but this is a series of science fiction fantasy retellings with the first book being a retelling of Cinderella. Actually, I've also read this one already in German, back when it came out in German. Um, I enjoyed it, but again with the translations taking forever and me now preferring to read in English, I got the English edi editions for the entire series. So. I'll do it. The next book is, and I actually forgot to take off the custom dust jacket, is Wings of Shadow by Nikki Palpreto, which is the final book in the Crown of Feathers trilogy. And I've read and loved the first two books. I've been putting this one off because I don't want the trilogy to end, but I'm going to finish this trilogy this year and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it and I have my heart broken and there will be lots of emotions and yeah, this year. Then I have another very hyped book, Kingdom of the Wicked. I actually already own Kingdom of the Cursed because I just know I'm going to love these books because I have read and absolutely adored the Stalking Jack the Ripper series by the same author, by Carrie Maniscalco. And this is with, like, the male main character is a prince from hell. What more do I want? I'm very sure I'm going to love these books. 
Then the next book on this list is the Empire of Gold, which is the final book in the Der Averbot trilogy. I've already read the first two books, however, I'm going to do a reread first. Like, I did my reread for The City of Brass already, I'm going to start my reread for Kingdom of Copper next week, and then I'm very soon finishing this series. Finally. <laughs> now there's only two books left. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is another case in which I've already read the first book in German but now want to reread it in English and then continue the entire series in English as well. So, looking forward. And the final book in the series is one that is very popular. It is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I have not read a single Cassandra Clare book, but I'm going to change it this year. And I have a few friends who've been bugging me about this for some time already, and I'm sure they are going to be very happy when I finally read my first Shadowhunter book. And that is it for my 22 popular books I want to read in 2022. It's going to be a lot. And I have a feeling I might not get to all of these because I'm a big mood reader, I'm a big procrastinator, but I'm going to try and I'm going to at least tackle some of these series. So yeah, this is it for this video. This was a long one, longer than I expected it to be honest. However, I want to thank you very much for watching and if you want you can tell me which books you want to read this year and yeah. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a lovely day wherever you live and bye bye.